to a day in my life. I'm going into the office today, as one does, to work. And I figured it would be kind of fun for me to give an inside look at that side of my life. I don't know, I don't really have that much going on. I got up this morning, made breakfast for myself, and then we went out on the patio area that we have and just had a little conversation about life, which I love. Enjoyed the fall weather, came downstairs, made coffee, and now I'm here, 1019, and I'm about to head to the office. Welcome to a day in my life. What should we listen to this morning? Oh, this is gonna feel like a movie. in this season. What are you talking about? It's not just for kids. Be creative, <laughs> like do something funny. But I also have to make banana bread because I have bad bananas on the counter right now and I just bought vanilla but then I ran out of sugar so I need sugar. We'll mash the bananas up and put them in the freezer so those, they don't get moldy. Okay, I was looking at grandma's um, recipe. It is now 5.05. .05. The last time I was actually speaking to you was about 10.30 this morning. I spent the last seven hours-ish getting a lot of work done. So I had like motion graphic-esque video that I had to get done for one of my freelance gigs. And then I uh, have spent since about noon, since I finished that, working on something for my company, which is called 302 Studio. We are working on doing, like creating fake brands right now, uh, just to try and show people what we can do do and showcase our, our talents and our skills. Right now, we are creating a fake golf ball brand, which is kind of fun. I'll show you, I made this yesterday, which doesn't look good. This, okay, this is not typically, like I would never send this to a client. So if we were creating someone's brand for them, we would give them something like this. It would obviously be a lot more organized. Um, this is really just for us right now, since we're not this isn't a real brand, we're not giving this to a client. So what I did was I created a logo and a name and it's called Eagle Ball Company. Um, this is the logo and then one of the wings, I just kind of like chopped off one of the wings and that's gonna be the brand mark. Kind of like, obviously we all know Nike's, uh, the Nike swoosh. Uh, the purpose of a brand mark is a little bit different than a logo. Um, sometimes it can be a company's logo, but the purpose of the brand mark is so that you associate it, symbol, whatever the symbol is with the brand. You don't need to know, you don't have to see the name of the brand or see any of their branding really to know who it is. For example, with McDonald's, these could be green arches and you'd still know what it is. Target could be, you know, purple and you'd still know what it is. That's what this is supposed to be. And then these are the colors I picked out. I really like the navy and red together. I think that looks really good. And then I also really like this green because it is a golf brand. These are the fonts that I picked out that look pretty good together. And then I did some mock-ups of balls that we would, this company would, def would potentially sell, you know, just so that we could kind of get a feel for what it would look like. And then this is just a mock-up of some apparel. I spent a couple hours yesterday doing that, um, building it from scratch because I really want to, I want to get, I want to kind of streamline that and like get good enough at it to where I don't have to spend hours on it. There's like, you know, ideas in my head for what fonts look good together, what colors look good together, understanding that really quickly and being able to deliver it to a client quickly. Now I'm working on getting some of these bigger, this is, one of the mock-ups that I made yesterday. My business partner slash boyfriend, Ryan, is doing, we're doing kind of like a two-part thing to this whole branding, marketing situation that we're doing where we're creating the fake brands and he's creating fake landing pages to go with them because in our business, I don't remember if I've actually talked about this on my channel before, but 
the business that my boyfriend and I run together is called 302 Studio and we're a branding and design agency. Right now we're focusing on uh, websites and content. That's what we have experience in right now to be able to sell it. Where we know that we're really good at doing stuff like this, but we don't have the experience to sell it. So we're selling what we're good at first while we get good at things that we want to actually do. We both love doing what we're doing, obviously. So anyway, Ryan texted me and asked me if I can if I can give him some PNGs of these uh, golf balls that I made yesterday. Change some of the colors so that he can put them into one of the landing pages that he's making. Oh, also, we're creating the fake brands for us to post on our social media so that people can see them. That's the point. This is like what's going into our content right now, which is super fun for me, but it's just super time consuming but I think it's it'll be worth it. I will take doing this for hours on end over cold calling for one hour a day. You guys can come along and watch me. Also, the office that I work at, um, I've definitely talked about the office that I work at before. They give us snacks and coffee all day and I love it so much and they have right now and i was walking around outside today and it wasn't that hot but they give us complimentary snacks and coffee all day and they have a pumpkin spice pumpkin pie spice creamer right now and it's so good it is so good It's six o'clock now. I'm about to probably head out from the office for the day. I'm kind of tired and I want to go home. It's going to take me so long to get home because of traffic. So, but I figured before I leave, I'll, I would show you guys for anybody who, who wants to see the video that I've been working on today for a fake golf ball brand. I'm realizing how silly that sounds. That I spent the entire day today and yesterday creating a fake golf brand and now creating an ad for a golf ball brand that does not exist, but it's pretty good so far. It still has a lot of work to be done, but.